Welcome. Uh, so this is the beginning of something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, it's a lot of sports things that I want to get off my head, off my chest, off my leg, little, um, but there's a lot of things that I feel like I have a good opinion on, uh, and of course it's the internet, and so we can do stuff like this, and I can just be like, hey, here's my opinion, this is how I feel, so on and so forth, and, uh, and then that's, that's what I'm trying to do. So, I want to make this a thing, I want to make this a regular thing, uh, I did not have time to type tonight, I had a lot of stuff going on. And we'll continue to have some stuff going on for a while. So the the posts will be here and there and in between. Really, we'll see where that goes. Um, I wanted to do a LeBron piece today, and to kind of kind of get that out there, but it's not going to happen. Uh, the one thing this allows me to do is it allows me to talk to myself for a little bit, throw some stuff out there, and, uh, you know, hopefully you agree, hopefully you don't, I don't I, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as we're talking about something that's fun, as such as sports, sports are fun. That's what they're made for, they're made for grown-ass men to, you know, cry and laugh and have a good time, that's what it's meant for. Um, take every single fan from the World Cup that was actually there, not all 36 million of you who watched it and pretended to care about it and won't care about it for another four years. So, you know, take all those people, for instance. Those people care way too much. Behind me, actually, on um, that side, that's, uh, that's a memento from the 04 Sox. Thanks, Richie, for that, by the way. Uh, and I hang that up because it's important to me. It's something that, uh, that I lived, and it's something that belongs to every baseball fan out there, including all of you Yankee fans. It belongs to all of us. That's the whole point of it. So, with that being said, and with there being so much in the sports world to talk about, uh, it, it's fun. It, it gives me something to do, and it gives me a good release, and hopefully it gives you guys a good release as well. Um, now, when I was trying this out earlier, there was a lot of uh, background noise. There's a lot of background noise for this, and I'm sorry, it'll get better. Promise me. It'll, like, I, I, I promise. It'll get better. Um, once we figure out, I finally got a desk. I got a desk today. There's a, there's a desk right here. Uh, so I finally got a desk to do this with. Uh, it will get better. So, stick with me. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of these for when I don't have time to write. Um, I love to write. I do like to write a lot. I'm not very good at it yet, but I do like to write. That's what I got going for me, and that's what I want to do. That's that's the whole thing. I want to talk about the one thing in this world that I've loved since I was about to be tall. Uh, today, I'm going to go over real quick why Dirk Nowitzki is the greatest power forward since, I don't know, in our generation. That seems fair. Uh, actually, I'm not going to. That's a topic for a later time. Again, I'll get there. Um, I was going to do LeBron today, and then I said, you know what, I want to do Dirk. Uh, Dirk is great. Uh, the man took, as we learned today, the original the original source came out and said he took three years and $30 million, which he did not. He took three years and about $8.6 million in that range somewhere. So the guy that they signed yesterday, technically, in Charles, uh, Chandler Parsons, is going to make about seven to eight more million dollars a year than the best player on the team. Uh, not only is he a top 20 NBA player in the history of the game, he's also the best European slash foreign, actually foreign player, you know, not named Hakeem. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. The man's making nothing. And he chose to. Uh, he has a great relationship with his owner, Mark Cuban. And it's it's something different. Uh, when the Big Three got together four years ago in Miami, they all took pay cuts. Sure, they did, uh, and they weren't making the max that they could. Granted, fair enough. But <laughs> they didn't cut their contract in half. They didn't say, "I'll take ten million if you can bring in six other guys in the rotation to work." No, they didn't. They didn't. They took 
three or four million off the top. They were able to get Ray Allen, Mike Miller, Shane Battier, the whole the whole organization. They came together, and of course they had Chalmers already. They do Doss Haslam, who also took a pay cut. So, you know, put it in perspective. Um, it, it's 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 a pretty big deal. It's a pretty big deal, especially in today's society where you know. A Rod can sign two contracts over two hundred fifty million dollars. He signed one for two hundred fifty-two and two hundred seventy-five. That's a lot of money, and that's a lot of money that, <laughs> you know, for what reason uh, is the real question. So, good for you, Dirk. Good for you. Uh, I'm proud of you. That's good. Good for you. And hopefully, you guys will do well. Um, you made the trade. Obviously, the Mavericks made the trade for Tyson Chandler. Uh, they also took on Raymond Felton, who is, uh, I feel like I can be a better point guard than Raymond Felton, and I probably can. Actually, I can. I'm a better point guard today than Raymond Felton is right now. Sad as that is. Uh, but they took him on. Took him on nonetheless. They traded away Jose Calderon, who was a great three-point shooter. It was just fantastic for them playing, uh... Kind of the kind of the the, the combo guard ish, if you will, uh, since Monza Ellis plays a lot of point forward, he plays a lot of point forward, um, and with that, they have with the signing of Chandler Parsons, they now have a a solid, uh, solid, solid front court. Not the greatest defensively. Uh, Chandler did Tyson Chandler did fall off a little bit last year, and I think it was mostly because of him being a little hurt. Playing with Raymond Felton, uh, playing in New York where <laughs> nobody could create their own shot except for Melo, uh, which hey, you know, we'll go we'll go with that. Uh, so the Mavericks, the Mavericks, I like a lot. I do, um, and, uh, and Dirk's as good as he's ever been. He's getting up there. He's getting up there in age, but he's as good as he's ever been, and he'll continue to be good. So I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm happy that he's got a team around him. Uh, a little bit better of a team around him. I'm happy for him. Uh, Vince Carter did leave. He went to Memphis for some god awful reason. I'll never understand. But he went to Memphis. So uh, they'll they got some pieces to put together, but they'll they'll be fine. Uh, and uh, I should have something up tomorrow. Uh, going into detail a little bit more about that. I have some notes that are here, and so usually I have the notes, and then I have what I'm working on, and then and then everything else in it's together. And so, uh, I do want to thank each and every one of you who like the Facebook page, who follow me on Twitter or whatever. Uh, I want to thank you guys for that. That's 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 a start. I appreciate it. Uh, and I'm looking down right now because I know half of you are like looking at, like you're like laying on your phone or whatever and it's up here. So, just get used to that. Uh, I want to thank you guys for that, for everything so far. And uh, it'll... You know, we'll build this up. We'll build this, and this is what I want to do. This is what I feel like I want to do for a long time. And if when you get enough, you know, hey, why aren't you commentating on sports yet? It's because, well, I don't have a degree. That's one. I'm a 24 year old, 24 year old male who I don't have my degree yet. So, ah, uh, that's that's something. So. If there are any network executives out there, I know I would never pass a screen test, but at the very least, uh, I could be the stat guy, you know, next to, next to the people in the booth. Just put me next to Chris Collinsworth. I'll be the stat guy. I don't even need a laptop. I'll just be the stat guy. Uh, so, you know, hey, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll get this background noise situation figured out. We'll get that worked on. This will get better as it goes along. Uh, 2014 Red Sox, it will get better. Um, always believe that it'll get better. So, I will see you guys really, really soon. And uh, until then, I don't have a sign off yet. So, I, I got nothing. Again, we'll work on it. So, you guys have a wonderful evening. Remember, subscribe, tweet, follow, all that good stuff. Okay? Alright.